how to enhance your readings uh, dramatically, to dramatically enhance your readings. And I can say to you by that is the emotional levels. So remember, your emotional body is going to be activated every time you do a reading. So the emotional body should be present and feeling very much uh, uh, on, you know, like really emphasizing the emotion. That's a really great way to dramatically give a good, good message from the incident. What is, if I say, I love you, why do they love you? What, what is the reason why the mother coming through and telling her, her daughter that she loves her? Why? Why is she saying that? What's in that love? Try to describe that love from the inside out. The more descriptive you can be with the emotion, um, the more dramatic it'll be and it really enhances the messages. When she uses the emotions, and everybody's, because everybody's able to sense things and feel things, the emotion shouldn't be that hard to bring in. Remember something too, is I talk about this a lot in media too, it's really important, that you're having a party and that when you do a reading for somebody, you're having a one-on-one -on -one reading or a group reading, you're really opening yourself up, you're opening the world up, the spirit world, to come to a, an enhancement of love, that they've come here to love because they love their loved ones, and loved ones in the spirit world love them, and you're the conduit, you're the person giving messages. So it's kind of a party, it's kind of a joyful time, it's a happy time, and the job of the medium also, and I emphasize this in mediumship too, is the um, fun factor, the joyful factor. You're having joy here, and you gotta demonstrate that joy, that emotion. That, and once you bring that level up, the vibration of fun and joy, and the amusement. Remember, amusement and fun brings up that loving vibration and makes it your job as a medium much easier. So that's very important that you work with love. And the more emotions you can bring through, the emotional elements, that will bring you most dramatic parts of the reading to you. Um, one thing I do to hope, well, I've told people this in my school over and over again in our phone calls, um, some people find it very hard to just tune in, to get out of the world, so much going on. Even in meditation, it's hard sometimes for some people. Meditation is great. I think meditation for some people is very hard because they're in their head too much. But remember, with meditation, you're going into the body. So from the head to the heart. And in meditation, you're going to use the breath. So I talk about that all the time, about going with the breath, using your breath, because you've got to breathe, right? So as you're inhaling, you can inhale love and beauty and health into the body. Every cell, every organ, every molecule of your being is love coming in. All the way to the bottom of your toes, love, love, love machine, your love machine, and as you exhale out of your mouth, in for count of three, out count of four, or in count of four, out to five. Make the exhale one or two beats longer, right? So you want to get all out. So we'll do in for three, out for five, in three. Love machine, grow, 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 light, light, light. Oh, my beautiful. And exhale. Rub we'll it all out. We need to let it go, let it go, let it go. And energetically, what's happening is you're bringing in a renewal, newness into the body. Because everything's flowing, remember, everything energy is flowing, flowing all the time. The only way things stop from flowing are if you limit it with your mind. So if you're limiting something, you're limiting the flow because it's an emotional upset you've had when you were 10 years old and it's still stuck in the body, it's stuck in your organs, you've got to release it. Now, it might take more than just a meditation to do that. You might do some inner work, transformational work that you need to do to get rid of that, to get to the, get to the problem. Um, and I do have some courses on this for that but you definitely need some work with that to get deep into that the root of why you're holding on to it is there anger is there resentment what is going on that you won't let that go so remember to be in optimum health there's got to be an openness for the flow to happen for the energy for the life force to come through life force and 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 how does that happen to love brings life force through so every time you're bringing in in breath you should be in love love into the body love into your space Forgiveness is one of the quickest ways to get love. Forgiving other people, forgiving yourself. Loving yourself for who you are, not what people want you to be. Love yourself for who you are, not what people want you to be. Don't live a life of expectation. It will not work. You will not be happy. That's very, very true. Um, so as I'm sitting there, um, and I'm going to sit in the meditative sense, let's say getting a, a cycle of in and then out. I find it really, my mediumship is enhanced dramatically, um, and I mentioned this in my phone calls, by sitting in a dark space for 15 to a minute to a half an hour. So I sit in a closet, clean myself back in the closet, or a bathroom, but I don't like a bathroom only because there's a window usually. I don't like outside sound. So that's why I say a closet, because usually there's no window, you can't be disturbed, 
They should be the cell phones, nothing from the outside world, no disturbances, no children, no partners, no phones, nothing. Quietly, a chair, sitting in the quiet. Now what you can do when you sit in the quiet is you can sit, you can work with the breath, the meditation, or just breathe. Just breathe and relax. And after about five minutes, you're gonna be like lulled away. And you may feel your guides or your spirit people come close to you and work on the etheric body, the energetic body. You might get thoughts dropped into your head of someone from the spirit world. There's so many things happen when you sit in the quiet. So it's called sitting in the quiet, and the quiet is very, very loud. Okay, quiet is very, very loud. For this point, I would say start with that. Now, there are different motivations and intentions sitting in the quiet. One could be sitting in your power, which is building up the, the energy part of it. But for just now, for this webcast, I'm just going to say for a lot of you, a lot of you are new, I think, just sit in the quiet. Just start with that and see how that feels for you. Because that would, that, I just want you to get aware of what the feeling is like. You will be shocked. I'm telling you, you're going to be shocked because so many of us come back on this earth and it's like, is this it or is this all we are? No. When you sit in the quiet and you're in this focused place and just relaxing, you begin to become aware of the expansion of your soul because you'll be aware of how the spirit world activates you, how they expand the soul, they contract the soul, your auric field, expand it, contract it, expand it, contract it, and working with you, your sensitivity. It's just an amazing experience. It's hard to put in words. It's more feelings, um, sensations, you know, and um, otherworldly sensations is the best way to describe it, I guess you could say. Um, colors you'll see, which you don't see here in this physical earth. Um, so they share a lot with you. And the more you do it, the more they know that you are an instrument that they can use. And the more it will help with your mediumship. But you can't be a medium if you can't go inside first. You got to go in that quiet space within. You got to have a strong sense of yourself. 